Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I have a fun little scrap buster project for you and that are these little pumpkins made out of fabric. So you want to go through your scrap pile and look for some fall colored fabrics, any of the fall colors. I'm using a little tree branch in here, but you can really use whatever you want in place of this. I use these little artificial leaves from other little artificial plant de decor that I had. You can use ribbon or raffia, anything that you want on these. So let's get started. The finished size of these little pumpkins, they're small, they're around two and a half to three inches tall by about four to five inches wide. It just all depends on how you cut your fabric. So my fabric is eight inches this way and then I doubled that number and cut it 16 inches this way. So that's kind of a simple formula to follow if you're not really sure. So here's the pretty side or front side of my fabric. Fold it in half like this. Bring your edges together and then along this side you're going to stitch a one quarter inch seam right along here. Then press your seam open. Then at one of the raw edges take needle and thread and you want to double your thread. In other words, bring the two ends of your thread together and tie a knot in it. And you want a fairly long piece because you're going to use quite a bit of it. And do a basting stitch around the edge all the way. Then when, once you get all the way around, you're going to pull on it and gather it all up. Once you have it all scrunched up, then take your needle and go, go from one side all the way over to the other and pull your needle through and tighten it up. Then you're going to wrap it around three or four times. Then take your needle again and push it all the way through. Then do a few stitches in place to secure the end of your thread and then go ahead and cut the thread. When you're doing this you want to make sure that thread is really tight because one of the problems with this is that when we go to do the next few steps sometimes you can wind up pushing this out so you want to make sure that's really secure. Then turn it front side out and this is the bottom of your pumpkin. This is what it should look like. Then take your polyfill stuffing and go ahead and stuff the inside. Now don't overstuff because if you do this bottom part might pop out. Now using needle and thread again and make sure you have a knot at it and your thread is uh, doubled and do a basting stitch around the top edge and then once you get all the way around then go ahead and gather it up. Now to secure all of this and keep it all in really tight you want to just keep going from one side to the other side pulling that needle through and going in all directions so that you get it all really close together in there. Then once you've done that, then do a few stitches in place to secure your thread. For this next step, it's real important that you get a large needle because of the type of twine that you're going to be putting in there. Now this, where I got my needle was at Walmart in the sewing and craft section and it was a package of very large needles of different sizes for different uses and I believe it was made by Singer. So look in there and this is the one I chose because of the eye of the needle and what I'm going to use is this poly twine. You don't need to use poly twine. You can use string or yarn or jute whatever you can but make ever you want to use but make sure it can go through the eye of this needle. 
tie a large knot at the end of the thread or your jute or twine, whatever you're using. So your starting point for inserting the needle is at the top where you just finished. And you'll go through the top and you're gonna try to come out near this center. Now it's real thick down here. You probably won't be able to come right through that hole. I wouldn't even try. If you could come out just a little ways from that very center section, it's gonna be a lot easier. So go to all the way down, push the needle down, and what I do is I try to feel for that needle, and it takes a moment to find it. So now pull it out. Now you're going to bring your needle back up to the top and go all the way back down again. And again, try to find a place that's near that center and push real hard. The needle I'm using kind of has a blunt end and pull it out again. Now you keep pulling it and make it tight. Now don't pull it so tight that it looks like this. You want to give it a little bit of leeway there. Then you're going to move your thread over a little bit, take that needle and go back down again. Go all the way through the bottom and then pull the thread out. You're going to keep doing this step until you have five sections. All right, so I've got the five sections. Now here's the bottom. So now I'm just going to go down through the bottom again. Don't go back through the same hole you just came out of. Find another spot to go through and push back out through the top. And you're going to go back down one more time in a different spot go all the way through out through the bottom. All right, here's the bottom. Here's my thread. I just came out. So I'm going to cut it real close to the fabric. To straighten out any wrinkles you have on the sides, just keep smoothing the fabric out all the way around. Now this one that I was using to demonstrate with, I wanted to show you what it would look like if you don't have enough stuffing in it. And I purposely did it that way so that you could see the difference. So it needed to get a little more because this is very lumpy and not smooth. So really what it should look like is like this one, really smooth. I'm using a hot glue gun, not a cool glue gun. The hot ones seem to really be a lot better for this next step. So you want to put a big blob of glue in the center, just really load it up because you want to be able to have that twig you put in there be really secure. Then take your twig and set it down in there and hold it for a moment. This next step is an option. I'm going to take these little artificial leaves. I bought them at Dollar Tree last year, but I'm sure they're going to have something like it again. You can probably find them at Walmart or uh, Holly Lobby, Michael's Crafts, any of those places. So I'm going to place a blob of glue. You don't need too much for these artificial leaves. And then just begin placing them. You don't have to sit there and hold them because they, they uh, attach pretty easily. So go ahead and put these on. This is about, oh, an inch and a half wide ribbon. And I'm going to cut these little points out at each end. So to do that, just fold it and you're going to cut from the, you're going to cut towards the folded edge and that's how you get this little point. To keep these raw edges from unraveling, you can use a lighter and hold it up just a little, little close and let it kind of melt the edges a little bit. Now, I don't like to use fire, but you can use Fraycheck, which is a glue, and you can get it in the Notion section. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. Now, remember, you can 
tie raffia around it, even use wire ribbon. You can use little lace strips, any type of uh, ribbon decor that you would like to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. Now there's a lot of items behind me and I often get asked questions about them. Where can they get to the tutorial? So I'm going to have links listed below in the description section. So scroll down below your YouTube screen till you see the words show more or the down arrow, then click on it, scroll down a little bit more, and you will see the links. Now don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny. See you next time.